Welcome back. We're going to jump right into it and we're going to start to move a little bit faster. Okay, so let's select these faces on the shoulder. We'll go into our loop tools. We'll make them a circle. All right. From there, we're just going to delete the faces and then we're going to select the edge loop and uh, kind of scale out where we want our shoulder pocket to be. And then we're just going to start to extrude the arm. All right. If you need this to be slower, just slow it down a little bit. Otherwise, we're, we're moving. Okay. So we're going to extrude the arm out and bada bing in about 10 seconds, we have the arm. That's nothing new. Now let's add a cylinder. Let's make it an eight cylinder face. And you're going to see one and two for the radius and the width, make that point one and point two. And we're going to make our fingers. Okay. Uh, then we're going to add a couple of edge loops to create where our knuckles need to be. And then we're going to close the tip of the finger. Um, just extrude that in and then let's select these verts and just, you can merge at center or last, uh, dealer's choice right there. That's, that is to taste. Okay. And then we're just closing off that open hole to create, uh, the tip of our finger. Now we're going to make a little bit more geometry, um, to create our nail pocket or our nail bed. So that this is just extruding, insetting, moving, scaling, Extrude nothing new is here. Okay. Then we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier, makes it nice and smooth. Then we're going to right click and shade that smooth. And then uh, we're going to create the geometry around our knuckles. So let's select these top two and bevel them with control B. All right. Then we're going to, uh, uh create the geometry on the top of our finger. And we we did this with the kneecaps, right? So you're going to select these and then merge at last. And then on the other side, same thing, uh, to create the ability to bend when we rig and then, but we've created some triangles and you know what to do, select these edges and then just right click and dissolve edges. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's add a little bit more geometry with just control R some edge loops around the knuckles. Okay. And then we're going to create the, the little divots, the little ridge lines at the, uh, on the undersides of our fingers by just selecting these, um, edges and then just, uh, move them up on the Z axis. And you should see just the tiniest little bend that all human fit, all primate fingers have. Humans aren't the only ones that have that. Um, so now we want to, uh, change where our cursor uh, pivots. Okay. So if you've never done this before, it's pretty easy. Just control S and curse it to select it. So we want to be able to scale from the base of our finger. We want to be able to rotate from the base of our finger. And this is important because now we're just going to shift D and duplicate and just create the rest of our fingers from the one finger. So as long as you can make one finger, you can make all the other fingers. Okay. And then just control D duplicate, rotate a little bit, scale it a little bit. If you want your character to have massive hands, that's cool. If you want to have tiny little dainty hands, that's cool. I'm going to have regular. Now we've created four different objects. We're, we're going to join those, select all of them and hit control J to join them. Now they're all one object. All right. I'm going to take the subdiv surf modifier off and I'm going to connect the geometry. We connected them in the world of objects, but now I want to literally physically connect the geometry and you can scale the, uh, essentially the webbing that connects our fingers. You can scale that however you need to, but you should be able to, uh, alt click around it and select everything. That should just be one continuous edge loop all the way around. And we're going to scale that a little bit out on the Z because our fingers aren't pipes, right? They always kind of, they get a little fatter, uh, towards the knuckle. So now building out the palm, palms can be tough and palms give a lot of people a lot of problems. They don't have to, but we're just going to, we're going to extrude and we're going to scale and we're going to take it, take it slow. But the problem with modeling palms and connecting them to the body is that we have a lot of geometry here. We have a lot of vertices and we need to scale these verts down to just have the number of vertices at the edge of our body's wrist. So that when it comes time to connect the hand to the body, the number of vertices match up. And that's the only reason, um, palms can give people some problems. So we're not going to worry about that just yet, but we're going to, it's going to be in the back of our mind. All I'm doing right here is scaling, extruding, just stuff that you've done before. And right here, 
This is where we're, you've already done this a few times. We did it on the uh, kneecaps as well. We're going to select three verts and merge at middle. Okay. And what we're doing is we're getting rid of vertices. We are whittling down the number of vertices on our palm. And I'm going to do that on the underside of the hand as well. Same thing. One, two, three, and then merge in middle. And then one, two, three, merge in middle. And all, and what I did right there is I just essentially got rid of 10 vertices. So we are funneling the geometry of our hand, uh, creating the ability for it to connect to our body. And then obviously we created triangles right there on both sides of the hand. So we're going to select all of these edges and just right click dissolve edges. You, this should be old hat by now. If you've made it this far, you already know how to do everything we're doing in this video. Okay. I'm going to, uh, you can use proportional letting to scale it up. That's all I'm doing right there. And now I'm going to do it again. Okay. I'm going to take this edge loop and then I'm going to extrude one more time. And uh, so, so here I'm, I'm counting my, my verts and, and seeing how many I need. I might have 10 or 12 here. I think I have 12. And I think my, the edge loop on my wrist has eight. So you need to, to do your own counting. However many vertices your wrist has, uh, you need to whittle that down to match the number of verts that the edge loop on your body's wrist has. And I think I'm going to do it two more times here. I'm just going one, two, three, and then merge at middle. And now I've created eight vertices on the base of my palm. And I'm going to use those eight to create a, a bridge, essentially bridge loop, edge loop, bridge loop, uh, to connect to the wrist on my body when it comes time to, to join these up. Okay. I'm going to put the subdiv surf back on and now let's create the thumb. So, uh, I'm going to go and just highlight, select my middle finger and I'm going to uh, control plus to get all the way down to the knuckle shift D to duplicate control P to separate the object and then just move it to where I want the thumb. And this is, this is just a game of lining things up. Um, I'm going to set the pivot point around the base of the thumb again. So now when I rotate, just like we did the fingers, uh, my thumb is moving uh, from the point at which I want it to move and turn. Let's select a couple of faces on the side of my hand, get rid of them. And now this is just a game of, uh, push and pull and, you know, tweak and rotate and scale to get it so that, you know, your thumb knuckle, which is kind of wonky to begin with, aligns with the side of your hand. And then you can, you can either bridge uh, the edge loop, which I just did right there. Or if you want, if you just want to hit, uh, you know, select two faces or excuse me, select two edges and then bridge them with a face. That's fine. What we're doing here is creating that same geometry that we had with the knuckles of our fingers. You've done this before, and uh, we're just going to dissolve that edge, and we're going to do it on the exact same side, or excuse me, on the on the opposite side. All right, we're going to take uh, this top vert, and we'll bring it down to the bottom vert. So so now when we rig, our thumb will be able to bend. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a couple more loop cuts. And then proportional edit to scale it up. And there you go. You get a nice little hand, uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, same thing. I'm going to put my, I want my, my axis, my uh, pivot point to be the base of my wrist. I'm going to move that out. I'm going to unhide my body. Okay. And then just, uh, just scale the hand up and then. Uh, same thing, same way we connected all the fingers, just select the hand and then shift click the body control J to join them. Now they're one object and then select two edges, hit F to create a face to bridge that. And then just keep hitting F off of one edge all the way around and you will eventually sync up uh, the hand. And there you go. Now the hand is connected to the body. So just like that, we make a hand, we connect it to the body. And we're ready to roll. You can smooth this out in sculpt mode, or you can, you know, you can scale it, rotate it, tweak it, however, however you need it to be. But uh, that's the basic premise and principle. And we'll see you in the next one.